Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Danielle, your IBD dietitian. In today's episode, we'll explore a topic that many people living with inflammatory bowel disease or IBD face, food cravings. We'll discuss the root causes of these cravings and provide strategies for making optimal choices. So let's dive in. To tackle food cravings effectively, it's crucial to understand the underlying causes. Cravings can arise from various physical or mental factors, such as 1. Hormonal imbalances. Fluctuations in hormones like leptin and ghrelin can affect hunger and satiety signals, leading to food cravings. 2. Pregnancy and PMS. Hormonal changes during pregnancy and premenstrual syndrome can cause cravings for specific foods or food groups. 3. Sleep deprivation. Lack of sleep can disrupt hunger-regulating hormones, increasing the likelihood of cravings. Four, nutrient-poor diets. Diets lacking essential nutrients, such as protein and fiber, can contribute to cravings as the body seeks to fulfill its nutritional needs. Five, poor hydration. Dehydration can exacerbate feelings of hunger and cravings, leading to unhealthy food choices. Six, Gut flora imbalances. An imbalance in the gut microbiome may influence the frequency and types of cravings experienced. Seven, physical activity levels. Regular exercise can help balance hormones, reduce stress, and minimize cravings, while a sedentary lifestyle may exacerbate cravings. Eight, consumption of ultra-processed foods. Eating highly processed foods rich in added fats and sugars can trigger cravings for similar products. Nine, eating contexts and food associations. Cravings can arise from specific situations or memories associated with certain foods, such as childhood favorites or celebratory treats. And 10, mood-related factors. Negative emotions such as stress, anxiety, or sadness can often trigger cravings for comfort foods to cope with those feelings. While cravings are rarely an indication of nutrient deficiencies, a strong desire for non-food items can sometimes signal a lack of specific nutrients. So if you're craving non-food items such as the craving to chew on ice, consult your healthcare provider to rule out any nutrient deficiencies. For individuals with IBD, certain foods can trigger flare-ups or worsen symptoms, so it's essential to balance satisfying cravings and maintaining gut health. To make healthier choices, it's vital to recognize your unique food triggers. Five common IBD triggers include high-fat foods like fried foods or fast food, food additives, spicy foods, sugary foods and beverages, and alcohol. But keep in mind that everyone's gut is different. Each IBD warrior is unique. So always listen to your body and consult with your IBD healthcare team for personalized advice. Now that we understand food cravings and common triggers, let's explore strategies for making optimal choices. One, maintain a symptom food journal. Consistently track your food and beverage intake, symptoms, and emotions to identify patterns and triggers related to your eating habits, which can help you make informed decisions about your diet. Two, plan meals in advance. Plan out and prepare meals and snacks for the week, ensuring you always have nutritious options on hand, which can decrease the likelihood of succumbing to cravings. Three, discover healthful alternatives. Choose substitutes that fulfill your cravings without aggravating your IBD symptoms, like opting for baked sweet potato fries instead of deep fried ones. Four, prioritize hydration. Aim to drink at least eight cups of water per day as dehydration can worsen cravings. Limit the intake of sugary and caffeinated beverages that may contribute to dehydration. Five, embrace mindful eating. Pay attention to your hunger and fullness signals. Eat at a slow pace, thoroughly chew your food, and minimize distractions during meals. This mindful approach can help you respond thoughtfully to cravings rather than acting impulsively. Six, manage stress effectively. 
cultivate healthy coping mechanisms such as deep breathing, meditation, or engaging in hobbies to alleviate stress-related cravings. Seven, ensure sufficient sleep. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. A sleep deprivation can negatively impact hunger hormones and exacerbate cravings. Eight, engage in regular exercise. Participate in low-impact physical activities tailored to your condition to help balance hormones, reduce stress, and minimize cravings. Nine, seek support. Reach out to healthcare professionals, friends, or family when facing cravings. Join an IBD support group for additional understanding and camaraderie. 10. Increase protein intake. A diet rich in protein can help curb cravings and reduce nighttime snacking. 11. Distract yourself from cravings. Redirect your focus from cravings by engaging in activities like walking or taking a shower. 12. Prevent extreme hunger. Consume regular, well-balanced meals and keep healthy snacks accessible to avoid extreme hunger, which can trigger cravings. 13. Address stress. Reduce stress through proactive planning, meditation, and self-care, which can help mitigate stress-induced cravings. 14. Consume balanced meals. Eat well-rounded, nutrient-dense meals to keep hunger and cravings at bay while providing your body with essential nutrients. And 15. Avoid shopping on an empty stomach. Eat a nutritious snack before grocery shopping to curb impulsive purchases and craving-driven buying decisions. Combining these tips with personalized strategies can help you control your food cravings and make optimal choices for managing IBD. Remember that everyone's IBD journey is unique, so listen to your body, work with your healthcare team, and make adjustments as needed. Managing food cravings while living with IBD can be very challenging, but by understanding their causes and implementing strategies for optimal choices, you can gain control over your eating habits while prioritizing gut health. So that's a wrap on food cravings and IBD. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more IBD-related nutrition and lifestyle content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.